Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In this quick tip we're going to look at dirt. A YouTuber called My Paradox gave us a tip. He said you can make from two slabs of coarse dirt you can make one dirt. So let's have a quick look at that and see what's been going on. So let's have a look first of all at dirt. So here I've got dirt and here I've got some coarse dirt. Actually, I'm not using any coarse dirt. Let's have a quick look at slabs of coarse dirt. So we can have, where has it gone to? Dirt, dirt slab. So you can make four dirt slabs out of two bodsill. But also, let's have a think, probably the best thing to look at coarse dirt. So here we've got coarse dirt. If we look at the uses for that by right clicking it, you see you've got some recipes. Now one of the recipes here is you can make four slabs from two coarse dirts. And the uses of that, dirt slabs, you can put those together to make dirt. So from that, from we can convert coarse dirt to dirt very quickly. Now the recipe for coarse dirt is like this gravel and normal dirt so basically you're doubling the dirt for each uh, swapping it for gravel so you're producing four coarse dirt so I hope that's clear now let's go back again and have a look at my um, system I think I was looking at sterling wasn't I here you see I've got 13,000 dirt and 25 Gravel. The gravel is actually not being produced fast enough. So let's go first of all and make some more gravel. And the way I've been making it is like this. So here I've got a, a power a power unit, and at the bottom I've got some cobblestone being generated from lava. Now if I look at this here, you can see this is producing. Well, actually, it's producing gr gravel every 0.45 seconds. But I think at the moment it's probably running out of cobblestone. It is. So we'd either have to make some more cobblestone and feed that in, or we can make some more gravel using the same technique, which is what I plan to do. So let's first of all get a piece of cobblestone. I want cobblestone, sorry. Got 26,000 cobblestone, so I just want one piece of cobblestone. What we're going to go down, let's go down here and put beside this, this piece of cobblestone. This is a sort of water block, and the water block is being shared from both sides here. To put the water block down here, I also need a bucket of lava. Now I've got with me a an ender tank and a fluid tank. Let's take the fluid tank out of here and then take one bucket and right click that like that come down here dig out this block and put the lava in here like that and then what we're going to do is we are going to put on top of this here the uh, transfer node I should have some around if I have to have to make some quickly I guess we've got three now look so we put the transfer node down here like this right click that and then we can put into this this mining upgrade and as soon as I do that it'll start to produce cobble and of course I can produce maybe I can put the stack upgrade in there yes it's going to produce some stacks at a time or should do and maybe I can put some upgrades in so that's producing cobblestone fast in fact I haven't done that on the other side so what I then did is on top of this I put a crucible now hopefully I've got a crucible in my system somewhere I have indeed great so we put the crucible on top of here like this and then we'll feed this crucible with cobblestone coming from here actually we'll get rid of this block here so I can stand on it a bit better and see what we're doing so in here I haven't got those a speed upgrade so what I'm going to do in fact is to take half of those out of here like that and put the other half of them into here like that so that's something like this so we can get some gold being produced faster might still not be fast enough actually anyway so now we need some pipe 
probably haven't got enough here. We can put that into the like, like this. Should just click onto that. Let's click it onto that like that. And then we get cobble being produced. So what we now need is, let's have a look at the same one over the side over here. That cobble should be starting to smelt down into lava. So then we put the fluid tank on top of that, like, I haven't picked it up yet, have I? I've got it here. I'll take this, get a wrench, pick it up. Put this on top of there like that. And then configure that to pull from underneath. Let's do some configuration here. So we want to basically pull from underneath. So that's now going to be filling it with lava from below. As simple as that. And on top of that, we're going to put a sterling, a sterling a generator. The same as I've done over this side. So I'll put one sterling generator on top of it like that. And that's already configured to push pull. So it'll start to get lava, but it needs a bucket. So we need to get some buckets out. I've got some buckets now. I need three, one for each generator. Um, I just put it in like that. If I should be able to just put that in there like that. Hold on. Let's put those three into there. It'll come out and it should get pulled into here like that. It has done. And then this starts to generate power. Only producing 20 RF per tick, which isn't enough. But behind me I've got some of those special capacitors. Uh, if I take this one, for example, here like this, and I've put that into there. This one will generate 80 RF per tick. So let's put that into this machine straight away. So it's producing 80 RF per tick. I'm going to do the same thing on the side here. I think I need it on the other side, actually, in this one, because everything's reversed in this particular one. So let's just go down one block here so I can get down, put it on the side a bit easier. I want it on there. And I want one at the front as well, like that. And I'm going to configure this afterwards. If I put this one down, I want to put a block of sand in here, first of all, too. So let's fill that in. Because that's just one block below, like that. And then we can put the block of this on top of it. Oh, I hope I'm in the right place to down. I'll go down one like this. And then put this down here. Shift click it into place. I can still access this from here, so I can still make sure that everything's been pulled and pushed correctly. So that's pull. So I right click it twice and now it's push and pull. Same over here, three times. So those should now be getting lava in all three of those, and we should be getting lava into here. Now what we need to do, of course, is put some more of those capacitors. I think these are all 80 RF per tick capacitors. Uh, let's have a look. Indeed it is. So that's the standard RF. 80, I'm going to put this one in. And that is two. They're just equivalent to normal AM normal capacitors but just obviously slightly cheaper let's put that into that let's do the other one over here so now we're generating 240 RF per tick so what we're going to now do is put on top of this a crusher so I've got a crusher from extra utilities to very straightforward oops wrong one very straightforward recipe and you'll see this is starting to get power and we're also going to put in here some speed upgrades. So we're getting the same amount of um, stuff being generated. So, but I want to get into here, of course, I want to get the cobblestone. So now I need some more of these transfer pipes to bring it up to the top here. I can do it like, right click on there and there and there. And that'll start to get cobblestone in, as you can see. And it's starting to crush that into gravel. Wait a few seconds. You see it's quite slow. In fact, it's taking 10 seconds for each piece of gravel. Now, what I'm also going to do, and I'm going to be a bit OCD, and I should have somewhere about, oh, I haven't got it with me. I'll have to go and get it in a short while. So let's fill this up, let's fill this up with sand so we don't have to see all of these bits, and I can come back and fix this later on. It's, it's not important, all I want to do is to really, um, like this, cover everything up I have to be like that, don't I? And like that. 
So everything's sort of covered. Oh, I'm tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not actually connected these up yet, have I? So this one, of course, is connected up here, but the other two aren't. So I need to just connect these through like that. And one more, so they go into the actual unit. Now I need to just take my. I don't need my ret yet wrench, but I can do it like this and just disable those because there's no point in sending power into a, a generator, is there? So, so I end up connecting to there. So all three generators are connecting into it, and I've just turned it around four times. That's right. So you can see this is generating lava quite slowly. So let's go and make some more of those speed upgrades for this. I'm probably going to need some more plates, actually. Let's have a look. I need um, pressure plates. I've only got four left. And I need those upgrades for that. So what I'm going to do with these four upgrades, I'm going to put those into here like this. And I think the upgrade base, let's have a look for the upgrade base, how many I've got in the system at the moment. I've got four. I need some more. So let's go and make some more. We've got uh, basically that means eight. So we need at least 12 more. So let's make 12 more um, pressure plates. Plate. So this one we want. 12. I'm going to make another 20. Because 20 is the max that you can do in the extra utility stuff. So let's put these into here like that. And those, so we get 32, and they'll be made fairly quickly. And I'm going to have to wait for those to actually come through. I've already got seven upgrades in here. So it's, it's using quite a lot of, it's going quite fast. 16, in fact, I could take it away. So 16 and put these into the system make some speed upgrades and there we go so I'll make these we'll just do a shift click and get I've got 22 which is fine we'll come back over here now we should have the rest of those made so then we'll have 40 Oops, wrong one. Right again. So now we've got 40 upgrades in here, so we can fit that, clear that off. So let's go downstairs again and see how I'm getting on. So as soon as I put in this here, they're going to go much faster. And a shift click it, you get 40, and then you can see how fast that's going now 0.45 seconds. I'm not sure the lot is going to keep up but it doesn't matter very much so now what we do we put in onto this an mp uh, me export import bus and we'll just connect that up with another smart cable like that that will then give the line and we should see this then starting to import data import into there we go so those should start to be imported into the system here now we've got the two lines is that going fast enough? No, it's not. So therefore, we need an acceleration card for the for the import bus. So let's make some acceleration cards first of all. And it's this one we have to make. And I've got a feeling I've got to make some more of these. Let's make a, Let's make sixteen. Well, let's make some acceleration cards. Ten, I think, so about maximum. And let's take this now and get this into here. So let's see. Let's put in. Let's put in two. Uh, do I have to say that? Nope. It's going through fast. So everything's now being taken out of here. And. In here we're not seeing anywhere near as much. Let's put in two into here and let's come down to here and see if I can reach that. I can't. Okay. Let's put in two. 
let's make sure we've got some speed upgrades in this transfer node we've got 10 put the other ones in so now it's getting it's fully loaded so we've got max out of here and that should be coming into here yeah that's fine you can see the power's gone down it's almost not being used and this one is the same so the gravel is should now be at least we're hoping that the gravel is going to be uh, maxed increasing so let's have a quick look at that again 24 25 13 so it's staying around about that but it's not too bad now let's go and have a look downstairs and the one i've got is this one down here and this is where my rocket room is and i'll move this up to my hand home and in here it's got where i've got the processing going on again i'm using applied energy sticks here and this is the crafter here and I've put covers or cable facades on these. So let's just remove these cable facades. Can I do that with the, this without breaking anything too much? There's cable facade there. And that's probably the only one that really needs to be exposed, doesn't it? So in here I've got, uh, I've got coarse dirt and it's encoding that into dirt. Uh, coarse dirt, isn't it? So I've basically got a stack of 64 and I'm keeping that in always being generated so it's always going to have 64 coarse dirt and this is the encoding pattern and you probably do already know how to do that i'm not 100 percent sure let's just quickly go and have back upstairs and have a look at how i've done that i won't use that one it'll break it i have to go downstairs don't i too hot sorry um Right, no, I actually have to be upstairs. It's in here, the terminal is here. So, coarse dirt. Let's look for the recipe for coarse dirt. It's this one. So, we can actually say, move the items into here. Oh, I should have really done it like that. And then you can write this pattern down like this. I can do that. And then I've got an encoded pattern for coarse dirt. Actually, I don't need this encoded pattern, but we'll leave it like that for the time being. So that's the pattern. That pattern goes into the molecular assembler. Where's it gone to now? Let's go down to the bottom. So the EMI interface has got this pattern. That's the encoded pattern there. And then on here, I've got an export bus. And the export bus has got a crafting card and speed upgrades or acceleration cards. So what that's going to do is it's going to craft coarse dirt as it needs it. In fact, it's going to keep crafting it because this is a quantum storage unit. And the quantum storage unit will hold almost an infinite amount of items in it. So it's a great unit and it's not very expensive actually. Let's have a quick look at the recipe for quantum storage units. So you've got two, you've got one for fluids and you've got one for storage. And it's basically just five iron in a sort of um, a bucket, not bucket, what is it? Minecart type configuration, a chest and three obsidian. So it's a really cheap recipe. So they're coming into here, getting stored into here. In this here, I have got a, a four conduit speed upgrades and it's an extract mode. So everything in here is being extracted into this mechanical crafter from extra utilities. And this is crafting two coarse dirt into one dirt slab. And here I've got 20 speed upgrades in here, so it's going as fast as the dirt's coming in. Across on this side here, this is then coming out of here. Again, I've got 20 speed upgrades and a stack upgrade and a filter. So only filtering out dirt slabs. So they're coming straight out of here into this crafter. And those are basically being then converted from coarse dirt slabs or dirt slabs into dirt. Again, with 20 speed upgrades in it, and that's coming into here. Then we've got the stack and we've got a speed upgrade. I don't need more than that because obviously you can see it's already piped everything out of there. In this unit here, I've got an, another quantum storage unit, which is not getting full because it's it doesn't really need it, to be honest with you. And on this one here, I've got two conduit speeds 
in extract mode always active with round robin enabled so that basically means one dirt's going there one's going here and one's going here in fact it's doing four at a time isn't it now a two-speed upgrade is doing 12 at a time so 12 going in there 12 in there 12 in there so this has been running since this afternoon i've got 45,000 dirt in here in about i suppose it's about three hours now i've run out of material so it's gone a bit slower and in here it's going back into the system as you can see that's coming into here as an import bus in here and i've just got an acceleration card make sure that everything gets pulled as fast as possible into the system so when i go back and have a look at dirt again you see i've actually got fifteen thousand dirt that's gone up but i'm still not quite getting well it's going up a little bit enough gravel but I think at the moment it's probably maxed out as much as it's going to be for the time being so that is really the whole process of course on here I've got a, I just put a terminal for the sake of it let's put the um, covers back on again make it sort of attractive again um, right one you can just click on that I, there's one behind there I don't need to put on and that's like that they're all just covers around here in fact it says sand zone I think I've got covers up that's cover yes cable facade and there's another one here and the color of the terminal has happened just to be is reflected by the color of the cable so I used orange for a change like this here and I at the very top of here I've actually put um, what did I put in let's just remove this I put a smart cable to make sure I wasn't overloading the system. Is that like that? Can I do it right click? Yes, I can. So I'm actually using five of the eight channels on there. So I'll shift right clicking and I can do that like that. So I know I'm safe in terms of items going in because that's the only thing that's going in. So let's go like this. I hope you've enjoyed that it took an afternoon to set up not too difficult and i really had and it really is quite impressive no moving parts no lag it's all working just fine so until next time bye for now